morning everybody it is another beautiful day here on the ranch it's a little bit of rainy and cool and it's time to get our tomato starts uh, transplanted into larger pots so I figured it'd be a great time for a little quick educational video so we are going to be taking all of these little crowded starts that we have and we're going to be separating them out and getting them repotted so they can get bigger roots and then we can get them in the ground so let's get started all right. so after a few weeks after you've had your you put your seeds in your little seed starter tray however you want to do it after a few weeks they're going to get about this size and you're going to notice all the height on them you might have multiples in here so now you're at the point of what do I do now how do I deal with this do I kill all these off do I just do one I'll show you what you're going to do so we'll take this one right here and we're going to divide this one up okay because we don't want both of these growing together we want each plant to have its own individual um, pot and room to grow we're going to take off our first little starter leaves these were the first leaves that came out when the seeds sprouted you're going to toss them in the pot that you're going to plant it in just extra fertilizer for it one of the biggest things you want to remember when you're planting tomato sprouts is you want to plant all of these trichomes so I don't know if you can zoom in Rob all of those little fine hairs those are all little trichomes those will turn into roots so on ours we're using the color as a guide so we're going to bury all of the purple up to the green and that's going to give your tomato plant that much more root system and it's going to be a much stronger and healthier plant real simple just break it up a little bit I let these little pods dry out sometimes it makes it easier because sometimes when it's wet they'll fall apart on you you just pull them apart and one in this one and you can see I've left the soil really low so that we have enough room to fill it up because we want to cover all those trichomes. So now that we have our little seed starts in their new pot, we're going to fill them up with our fresh compost or soil, whatever you've got. And try to keep your plant centered in your pot, otherwise you'll have floppy plants. I'm putting the soil all the way up to the top so that these tomatoes can get a nice root system on them. everybody so now we have our tomato seedlings uh, transplanted and they are looking lovely so what we're doing is we're getting these transplanted so they can have larger root systems that's the whole purpose of this we've started these from seeds inside the house now it's time to get start getting them hardened off so they can get planted outside so before we can just throw them outside we have to get them in a larger pot so they get a bigger stronger root system so you have a stronger plant and this also allows the plant to acclimate easier to our outside conditions seeing as how we're up here in the mountains above 3,000 feet and we still have about two weeks where we have the risk of a frost even though last year we had a frost in May but hopefully that doesn't happen this year um, we want to start getting these adjusted to being outside sometimes if you move um, any kind of plant that you're going to start as a seedling indoors if you move it outside too quickly then you might have the risk of them dying from heat, humidity, the wind a variety of different reasons so this is a great way to kind of ease your plants into being outside full time we'll have these in here for another couple weeks and then we're going to start getting them planted outside in our garden all right guys let me show you what varieties we're growing um so we've we ordered a few different varieties this year because we wanted to have some fun new tomatoes to grow and to taste because all varieties have different flavors um so let me show you which ones we're doing we walk out here we put some of our seedlings out in the little rain right now so they can uh, get some benefits. All right, so the tomatoes that we have right here in this little thing are called Bonnie Best. So these are nice big red tomatoes. And these over here are the ones that Rob chose because they are black beauties. The plant itself is a really dark purple and it gets a really um, dark purple tomato on it that almost looks black. They're really beautiful. So hopefully they stay true to their name. So far they're doing well. And uh, we're not sure what these are. These were surprises. They're either tomatoes or pepper seeds that got accidentally mixed in with the tomatoes. Who knows? All right, these right here are yellow pear tomatoes. So these have a small tomato on them in the shape of a pear and they're yellow. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, they taste really well and they're great with like pasta dishes or sauteed up in the pan. 
Uh, these are Hungarian hearts. I've never grown these, so it will be uh, interesting to see what they look like this year. All right, we also have some white tomasols. These are a white tomato. And we have a, I think we're doing cutgers are right in here. All new varieties that we've never eaten before, grown before. So we're excited to see what they look like. But that's about it for this video. Um, let me know if you like this video. Put any comments down below. I'd be glad to answer any questions for you. And until next time, bye guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.